work that we do it's called the confluence of cultures and it's about all the different communities settled in calcutta between the white town of the british and the black town of the bengali so in between lots of people came attracted by calcutta's prosperity what we do is show people who were these different communities these red brick structures were built during the first world war for the british army that's why they are called barracks and they are situated on bow streets or bow barracks this guy his name is shri kripa sharan and he was the one who kind of uh, created this uh, temple complex for buddhist pilgrims to revive buddhism in india walked over from chitagong and set this up in 1892 so there have been several reasons why buddhism has kind of declined in india including Brahmanism. So it's something that they don't talk about very much, but uh, it's it's uh, archaeologically quite evident because a lot of Buddhist statues have their heads replaced by uh, Hindu gods. Yeah. So this has been seen archaeologically, especially in places outside Banaras. Mostly you'll see that predominantly people were from North Calcutta if they were West Bengali. Right. If they were East Bengali, then they were from East Bengali. And every other settler, whether it's Rajasthani. Gujarati, Jew, Armenian, Afghan, Parsi, Chinese, Anglo-Indian, every every other settler community is all from uh, it can all be traced back to the, uh, this area in this place. We call this walk Bow Barracks to Bow. So when I was born, that was called Armenian Street, and where I live now, it's next to Bow Barracks. So my my mom actually tells me that you know I used to go around walk around uh, Bagri Market and Mehta Building and right. China Bazaar and all these severely uh, populated wholesale bazaars. Right. She said you used to just walk around there, just hang out there in the in the uh, in the school days. There was a bunch of uh, friends that came down. We were taking them around. and uh, i hired a local guide to do that and the guide made the entire experience so boring that i thought i can do better so that's why i think how it started off in a half nine years ago and then i started building upon the idea and I, when i started traveling to other parts of the world i started doing their walking tours yeah to see how they do it and that's how slowly it kind of built so you can do things you love and then make money out of that or you can do things you hate and make money out of that So I chose to do thing I love. So the coming together of all the interests, including photography, including architecture, including education, including all these different things that history and communities and cultures and food and all of that kind of merged together in this one business. So I I try to do that. I try to engage more senses in the course of my work. So most of my works will have some point where there's music, some point where there's food, some point where there's and smell. So you don't have to do much. There's smells all over Calcutta. <laughs> <laughs> Good or bad? Maya Angelou has said very, very correctly. She said, "People will forget what you said. People will forget what you did, but people will never forget how you made them feel." 